Hey everyone, welcome back to On the Couch with David and Travis. We just watched episode 15 of season 1 of Avatar, and it was Bato of the Water Tribe, I believe? Yeah, this is probably, I don't know, between this and the last one, my two least favorite of this entire show. The last one going back was probably a little worse, but I just really hate this one as well. The last one was definitely worse. There were parts of this that were enjoyable, at least. Oh yeah, at least it had that nice action scene at the end, and the anteater thing was kind of cool. But, oh my god, this is the most boring, cliche, contrived thing that there ever is. See, the the worst thing is, the Aang plot was the worst, but I really liked the Zuko plot. Like, yeah, I thought it was fun how they, like, contracted this person. Yeah, and they like, had a fun location, she had a fun design, um, Uncle was always funny, yeah, you know, per usual. That's fun. But, yeah, that was good, but, oh my god, it's the, you see this all the time in kids' shows and movies, where it's like, oh, you mishear part of a conversation, and then we get mad at him, and they make a mistake, and oh no, are they going to stay as a group? Well, you know they're going to stay as a group and get back together in like the next five minutes. Nobody in the entire universe is going to believe that for a second, so it's just... It's so annoying and it's so unnecessary. You know what's funny? And that's the exact reason why I hate romantic comedies. Yeah. Because it's the same... I, that's why they're, like, bad kid shows for grown-ups are romantic comedies. Because it's, like, it's that same exact formula. But here's formula. the thing. That's 90 minutes, so at least they can pace it a bit. This is literally like, Aang does this thing. We hate Aang. We're splitting up. The next sentence is, we need to go back. It's but just it like... May, it's I, so... It's so. I feel horrible. like the plot is the like the idea behind it could work, but the plot itself doesn't work. Well, it's this. way too overdone. It's way too obvious, and it's just there's just too like it's, you can't do that in a twenty minute. Yeah, show. I think thematically they should have built up more of a relationship with Sokka and Aang because like it would make sense that Aang feels like a loner because he doesn't have a tribe. Sokka feels like he's alone because he got. Um, but they just barely hint. Exactly, but like. And then, like, Bato feels the same way because he was, you know, he's alone from his tribe. Mm -hmm. So, like, that stuff thematically works. They just needed to do it in a different way. That wasn't the focus. If that had been the focus, it could have been much more interesting. I think it should have been a Sokka episode. It would have yeah. made more sense as a Sokka episode rather than an Aang episode. Absolutely. And it's just... I'm trying to think about what could make this work, and that's, like, the only thing I'm coming to. But even then, it's just... It's so contrived, and I, I mean, maybe this one was just less stupid, but it's more, like, offensive to me as watching as a story, because it's, it's just not trying anything. This whole show, the point of it is that we're seeing new things for a kid's show, new things for shows all together, and to throw this done a million times thing at us is just sort of an insult to the audience. Yeah, I think, I think take out basically everything with Aang, make him as much of a side character as possible, focus on Sokka, like, and maybe, I like, do a flashback, like, a longer flashback. I don't know. I think you have this character who's like, I had to be the leader of the tribe. I had to be the man when I was, before I was 14 years old. And if they would have dug deeper into that, I think it would have been a better episode. And I think part of the thing they're trying to do is maybe show, like, Aang's a kid. Kids make mistakes. And it's important for your characters to make mistakes, but it has to be things that make sense. And when I imagine this situation, okay, let's do one. I imagine a situation for Aang. The way they've built up the character makes it seems like he'd be happy for them. He'd yeah. be like, wow, I'm glad you found your dad. This is awesome. Yeah. And he would sort of get in on that. and be Because he's friendly, he's personable, he talks to people, and he doesn't really... I mean, this is sort of like the Warriors of Kyoshi episode where he's just acting like a dumb kid and then the lesson is don't act like a dumb kid. Yeah. Or, I'm just thinking of ways to improve it, you could have had more of an emphasis of, like, Sokka trying to think of Buto as, like, his father. Bato. Bato, whatever. <clears throat> um, more as, like, seeing him as that father figure, but ultimately it disappoints him because it's not his real father. Like, that could be something that's a little and more And then you could have, here's the thing, you could have done that. And the B plot could have been another sort of inversion where Zuko looks up to his uncle and he is the real father figure. He's a much better father figure than his actual father. Yeah. Like maybe you could have had Bato does something questionable and Sokka's like, oh, this isn't what my father would or have even done. Just this like, isn't sure what I should be looking up to. Or even like, it's not even like, he's not who he shouldn't be look looking up to, but it's like, 
he just learns that, like, he can't replace that. Yeah. Like, he can't replace his father. And that's why it would have worked well with having sort of an uncle thing with Zuko, because it could have been, like, this guy does replace my father, because yeah. my father's terrible. Yeah. But, no, this is does not do any of that. Skip this one, too, I think. There's nothing... I, I mean, there's... it's okay in the last act. They have some nice action scenes and some nice designs, but... Like, this is one you could watch while you're making a tostada or something. Yeah. Like, go like go, demanding... go to the kitchen in the back. Like, go to the kitchen, make yourself a quesadilla. A demanding quesadilla. Like, yeah. you don't want just, like, a quick chicken. Like, you gotta before. chop up the tomato yourself. Yes. That kind of quesadilla. Make some pico. Yeah. And you can skip the beginning and just watch the end. Or just, I don't know. I, I don't like I just movie. think it's bad, but, like, we have come up with a better, more meaningful plot in five seconds. Five seconds and we're not we paid Hollywood writers. That's the difference, too. Like, I mean, because even if we couldn't come up with something, that's not our job. But these mm-hmm. people are people who get to... I know it's hard to come up with, you know, 20, because I think there's 20 episodes, 20 <clears throat> plots and things going on. But you can't have two solid home run episodes that do everything you could have wanted and more. And then have two of the most basic children's entertainment you can have. Well, and I'm sure they had to prioritize some over the others. Because yes. I'm sure, like, the com- like. It's like, they have to prove that this can be profitable to the company, and they have to have everything ready to go. You know, like, I'm sure there's a lot of pressure on them, but Oh, absolutely. Still. But, you know, either just like, do 18 episodes, then do 16. Don't include stuff like this, because it just lowers the quality of the entire product. Yeah. And that's, I mean, I don't, you don't get very much of this, because I think they get more confidence, more time, more money with the later seasons, but this is very much, you see this, you're like, this is a first season episode. This is... This is like a basic comedy from the 70s. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is a, you know, like, it's just a basic plot. As basic as I could possibly get. Okay, well, uh, next up we have the 16, The Deserter. And I think this is more of a mid-level one. I don't really remember it exactly. But I'm hoping it's a little bit Hopefully better. Hopefully it's than the better previous. than these previous two. Yeah. This one, just, I, I think is a little better than the Fortune Teller one. Just because the pacing was a little better. Yeah. But it's still not a good one. 